Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back with another video. So yesterday we did a lot of grinding and we have today for you the world record Brock. So yes, we did two world records in a season. I was doing Gene um, and at towards the tail end of the season, I decided that next season I'm going to be going for a 2k Gene. So I'm just going to stop the Gene push and just go forward with Brock, something I planned to do earlier, and go for the world record Brock and that's exactly what we did. So we got a few games for you guys. We're not going to waste any of your time. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys the games that we have. All right, so hopping into the games, most games we did with Alec and Luki on this push. So big shout out to them, two very good players. Uh, in this game, we're going to be playing with Slash. So basically what we tried to do was just play Siege and kind of go for like a one push type of thing. So Brock, as you guys know, does a ton of damage. And it's very easy to, to one push with Brock on the save. Now we are facing some pretty good players. So at the same time, you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but we're doing a pretty good job of maintaining possession. Additionally, Brock does a pretty good job against Pam and you see Pam in meta a lot on this map. So that's also really, really good. But anyways, you guys see we're able to get the first, uh, we're able to get the first push over there. And unfortunately I did go down. Now these guys have very good defense with Sprout, Pam, and Frank. So they're going to be able to stop this really well. Our team having a Gene also isn't going to be that fantastic with pushes. And then the Carl is okay. But as you guys can see, they fully stopped the defense because I was down, unfortunately. It's something I definitely shouldn't be doing. But anyways, I'm going to super that wall. Not only am I going to break the wall, but I'm also going to get the Pam. So we did get ridiculously good value out of that. Um, and we're just going to be chilling now, trying to get these bolts. I'm going to try and keep Alec alive. Unfortunately, not going to be able to do so. Um, but what we did, we said at the start of the season, we we're going to get world record Brock and Gene. Um, and I did want to keep my word on that. They did both get nerfed this season, so I did make the push a little bit more fun. The fact that they weren't as good of brawlers as they were before, even if both of them did get a slight nerf. It's just pretty cool to say that after they both get a nerf, we we're able to get uh, the world record. So anyways, you guys can see we have another push. I'm just hitting this Pam trying to get super. And it's just key that I stay alive right now because I am the damage, of course, as I said earlier. Um, the Sprout's going to kind of mess up the wall. I'm going to use my super. Um, Slash is going to get a really good pull. I'm going to get my super back and we're just going to just wail on this safe. Um, I need one more shot to finish it. Sprout body block. So I just use that Brock explosive damage shot to the right. And we're going to be able to get that win. And that is going to be our first game. Let's hop into the next one and continue showing you guys what happened. So hopping into the next game, we're going to face again a very similar comp. Now we're going to be playing with Luki. This is a little bit later in the night uh, when we got a little bit higher up. And this is pretty, you know, common to see kind of the same comps of Frank you know a sprout they don't have a pam this time this time they have a gene but we're seeing a lot of the same comps on this map sprout is definitely an absolutely broken brawler here with the walls and everything because everything is just kind of corridors and just little access points that you can get through so it is a little bit difficult to go up against the sprout here as you guys see i'm able to cash in one bolt after getting pulled and luke is just going to walk up and collect the other ones he's going to kind of be trapped over there though uh feels bad moment for lukey he's kind of just vibing trying to stay alive Alec is chilling. He's going to go for the uh, go for a play on the Frank. He's going to be able to get that kill. I'm still up, which is really good. I'm trying to get my super off of that Sprout. I hit it, but I'm not going to be able to get the super. So we're just going to take a few shots at the safe. And you guys can see just how much damage Brock does. I'm just standing there kind of just chipping away. And we're almost able to get the dub uh, just off that kind of even weak push of us just standing there for a little bit. So now I'm kind of going to the side, trying to get some shots off. And this is actually the point where I remember that the safe did get a nerf. Or a buff, sorry, because when you used to go in with Brock, you used to be able to do 27%, but now I only did 24. I forgot the Siege Ike got an HP buff. So we almost got the win, but we weren't able to. So I'm trying to sneak up this left side again, but I think I think they know the strategy now. But either way, we do get a level 6 Siege bot, so it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to move up over here. I'm kind of just chilling. I got the kill on the Sprout. I'm going to walk up, use my jump, use my super, and we're going to be able to finish off that Siege or that Ike before the, Brock ev or before the bot even comes in. So this is 311 Brock. The Brock world record actually was 1309 or 1310. I forgot what it was. So by this point, I had already broken the Brock world record, but I didn't want to just beat it by one or two cups. You know, I want to get it a little bit further up ahead to make it a little bit harder on someone trying to catch up. So again, let's hop into the next games. We kept going a little bit later on in the night. And let's show you guys what happened. So going into this game, we're actually facing Babber, Ganon, and Squashy. Now, you guys know Squashy. Squashy's an absolute god. And they did kind of get a prank on us over here. So you guys can see, you know, they're kind of just chilling on this side, doing their own thing. And we're moving up. And we're kind of just chilling, you know. And we notice the strategy. We know what they're doing. But they actually do mess up their jump. They just jump down the side. So they're not going to be able to do as much damage. Squashy does come in a little bit later. And their plan was kind of ruined. Squashy did a little bit of spinning. But they only did 9% on their sneak attack. Um, the Babber's going to try and go for it again. I'm kind of just chilling. You know, we're holding down this lane. Um, we're having a bit of fun. You know, it is Squashy, our friend, and a fellow pro player. 
Luki does kind of lag out at this moment, but you know, I do have my Brock super. I am Brock with incinerary. There is no one defending, so I'm just going to stand here and get some shots, and we're going to be able to take this W. This game was definitely a really funny game. Shout out to Squashy for being a god. We continued pushing up. I don't know how matchmaking gave us this 500 team when we're at 1320, but again, let's hop into the next game, and let's keep going. So hopping into the next game, this was definitely one of our more challenging games throughout the entirety of this push. We're going to be going up against Sandy, uh, 8-Bit, and Jackie. Now, my least favorite interaction in the game, when I mean interaction, I mean Brawler versus Brawler, is Brock and Sandy. The, the fact that Sandy can now 3-shot Brock is just, it's so toxic how it takes 3 shots from Sandy to kill a Brock, but 4 shots from Brock to kill a Sandy, especially when Sandy's shots are so much easier to hit. Um, it's kind of it's pretty toxic to Brock to be honest um, So it makes Brock versus Sandy a really hard challenge So you guys can see they get the first ball They actually win four to nothing and then get the next two bolts So they're up two to nothing and we're just trying to defend over here Luki's gonna be able to get a super and as well hit that Sandy um, So they're gonna decide not to go in we have fairly average defense We don't really have the greatest defense luckily for us this Jackie did decide that he wants to go all in Probably wanted to try and kill Luki or something not really the best option by him over there as it allows us to get somewhat like some kind of control so one thing that is good again about this matchup is the fact that we are facing an 8-bit and brock can laser 8-bit it's pretty easy to hit 8-bit just because that movement is so slow so if you're an accurate brock you're hitting those shots um i did just miss uh, an 8-bit turret that wasn't moving but anyways um this is a pretty intense game so far we're going to be able to get this spot over here. Now, they do have pretty good defense because that is what 8-Bit is really good for. But Alex is going to be able to take him out over there. Jackie's going to go for a play, uh, but he's going to move off to the side. And that Sandy's trying to be sneak. Again, Sandy can kill me pretty easily. So I got to jump out of there and just stay as far away from that Sandy as I can. I decide I'm just not going to go in this push. There's just no reason to. So I try and get that kill on the Sandy. I'm able to do it. And now we're just going to hold mid possession. That's going to be the goal for the rest of this game. They're winning 4-2, so we do have to make some type of plays in order to get the spot. I'm able to kill the 8-bit pretty easily. Sandy's sneaking down, but luckily we do have Luki, who's just a big Frank, and that Sandy just can't take out no matter how hard it tries. Alec gets a bolt, but he is going to go down. I'm just going to get this bolt over here, jump away, and claim it. Luki's also getting a bolt, doing a really good job, and that's going to give us this final bot. And we are going to be able to win this game ever so slightly, but we are still going to be able to win it. Um, it was pretty tough. Again, Sandy versus Brock is just the most toxic interaction in the game. I really hope that that's somehow fixed because Sandy got a slight buff and Brock got a slight nerf. And I mean, it just didn't really work out in the best way for that interaction. But anyways, we're going to be able to win this game. We kind of just let them defend it because, you know, why not? Why not let the homies defend? But anyways, that's going to be it. Let's move on to our final game and show you guys what happened. Okay, so we're going to show you guys two more games instead of one because why not? Two games is always better than one. But anyways, we're going to be moving up over here. We're going to be going up against Sprout, I think BB, if I remember correctly. Sprout, BB, and Pam. So this is a really good comp, actually. I think BB is a very underrated brawler on this map, and I think one day we're going to see it in competitive here. But Alec is doing a really good job against that BB. He goes down, though. He could have got the kill, but I think he was trying to conserve his super. Um, I think I'm also dead. I was watching Alec. Yes, I, I, I am also dead. But Luki's going to clutch it out. He's going to be the thick boy he is. And he's going to be able to pick up two bots. And we're going to win this round three to one. So they do have really good possession over here. So we're just going to be chilling, getting rid of that Pam turret. I'm just going to try and block out that way for our bot to move forward. Because our super is good, but doesn't do a tremendous amount of damage to the safe. The thing that does the most is definitely our incinerary. Um, I'm going to go down over there. I, I don't know why I was standing still looking back at it right now. But I am going to go down. We decided not to go in. We could have probably done a good chunk of uh, change of damage. If Luki decided to go in with super and I stayed up, we potentially could have even finished it. But you know what? Who knows at this moment? So anyways, BB's going to get that bat over there on Alec. I see the BB over here. So I'm going to hit it three times, not let it get that bolt in. I'm going to go down, but that's fine because I know Alec's going to pick up the bolt. Alec is one shot. He's doing a pretty good job at collecting those bolts on the uh, on the sprout. And then Luki's just doing a good job at standing there, just being an absolute tank boss. Just kind of just clapping people. So anyways, this BB's going to come close to me. He's She's going to be able to, I think, get close to killing me, but not going to be able to do much else. And, you know, I got the Brock super. Things are looking good. I do have this Pam in my way, though, unfortunately. I got to get out of that way. But when we have all three supers, our push is deadly. So you guys can see, we start hitting the safe when it has, like... 80% damage left on the Ike, or 80% health left on the Ike, and like 10% on our bot, but we're still able to get the win. It was a really good push. Our comp is very amazing when it comes to pushing and getting those kills. But anyways, we're going to show you guys one more game. 
So let's hop into our final game that we played on Brock. We'll show you guys the world record game and what the current world record stands. Let's hop into it, show you guys what happened. Okay, so going into our final game, and the reason this is our final game, because this is also Luki's rank 35 game, we're going up against these gods, Bull, Gale, and Daryl. And these guys play it right. They sneak in there. We have no clue where they're at. We know that they're running some type of suspicious comp, but then they go at it again, and they just absolutely take out our safe so badly they wreck our safe and even though we were there for the defense and we were prepared and we only got one bolt they did 68 percent so that's kind of crazy but anyways you know we're prepared for it we're on this left side we're not letting them do that again because they will beat us and if they beat us like that on Luki's rank 35 game i i would literally cry but Luki's gonna lose his super over there i'm gonna be able to get mine though we're gonna do a good amount of damage to the safe we're kind of chilling. Luki's able to acquire his super. He's going to use his super. We're shooting away. We're staying in there. We want the one push and we are going to get it. So this is an extremely eventful game, but we're going to be able to take the dub and that is going to give us a 1441 Brock. So it was a really good push. This is a world record and that is where we're going to end it for now. I might push Brock a little bit more somewhat this season, but I don't know. But anyways, it's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We've been crushing these world records as of late. So if you guys want to see these type of videos, definitely let me know. But that's going to be it for today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.